Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. And today I got a little short episode for you guys, which is testing remote desktop client on our Raspberry Pi Windows 10. Uh, I feel that this was something pretty interesting for me at least because this could be a really good thin client, even though you could still run remote desktop off Raspberry Pi, you know, Raspbian. I, I just find this a little bit interesting. So I want to demonstrate that how it works and if it does work or not. So let's get started. All right, so one of the things I do want to mention is that I haven't been doing like huge or large projects, if you guys noticed. That's because I've been a little backed up on working on a lot of personal stuff, which is either redoing my bathroom or doing stuff around the house. So I've been taking the time that I usually use to work on videos to do other stuff around the house. And also I've been playing Space Engineers a lot. This game just came out of early access and I've been a big fan of this game since it came out in 2013. So I've been playing a lot of that recently and also uploading to my gaming channel. If you guys are interested in that game, which is like a space slash Minecraft, like that's not even a good way to describe it because it's not really a Minecraft game anymore. You still do that creativity, but it's so much more advanced than that. So it, it's a space exploration, open world type game. And if you guys are interested, check out my other channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and a card over here. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could subscribe at least get me over to that thousand subscriber count and maybe watch the video so I could get over that 4,000 hour so I could start monetizing that channel as well. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun uploading videos to that. I've been having a lot of fun playing it just in survival mode. If you guys want to help me out, head over to that channel, subscribe, watch a video or two, and let me know what you guys think. All right, so to get into this video that we're talking about right now, you're gonna have to watch one of my previous videos to install Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi if you haven't done so already. But if you have, we are on my desktop. You've probably seen this before. And I'm gonna head right over to my remote desktop client. I really wish this was a little bit faster. Now there's a lot of ways to optimize this. There's actually a script now, uh, which I could leave a link in the description to disable a lot of features that it doesn't need, which will help use this a little bit better but in the meantime, it's still not as fast as it should be. Like you shouldn't really be doing crazy stuff with it. One of the things that I did wanted to try, I'm still typing here, look. One of the things that I did wanted to try was IIS, which somebody did uh, mention in the comments before. And I was thinking about it already, but there's no way to run IIS. I couldn't even see that option in um, add and remove features. So if you guys are interested in doing that, I don't think it's gonna work. Also, do you guys think if this would be viable for like a NAS solution, like a Windows NAS, you can get it up and running, but because there's so much overhead in the processing, it's not really that fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is pop right over to one of my test machines that has remote desktop installed. All right, so here we go. Uh, after you hit connect, I'm just gonna type in the username, which I have test. One, two, three, and a simple little password. Hit yes. All right, it loaded into my other machine. Let's see how it's, is it usable? Okay, there we go. It started Google Chrome right away almost. Uh, let me hit YouTube up. Obviously this is, this server, the remote desktop server is pretty good. So it's loading it right away. And let's take a look at this trailer. It's working pretty good. It's not great. You still see a little bit of shuttering, but it's able to transfer the media protocol through UDP correctly. So it's able to do that. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I load up other stuff. Yeah, there's not much of a lag aside from the remote desktop lag. Um, it's able to run it pretty well on the remote desktop using Raspberry Pi. Let me see if I can scroll up and down. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm actually able, if I needed to, I could actually do some work off this. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. It just loads right away. Like I said, you're really just loading the internet connection onto the Raspberry Pi, so it's not doing much processing in the background. If I was to shrink this down, yeah, see, look, CPU processing is like minimal. It's got a little bit of RAM because it's using the remote desktop as the RAM, 
but ultimately it runs pretty well. And what if I did the smart sizing? Let's see, smart sizing. Yeah, it's it's okay. It still takes a little bit processing because of the smart sizing, but this is a test. Yeah, not much of a lag. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys was did Steam work? Steam does work. It does have a little bit. Let me close this remote desktop out. You can't play really any games off whatever Steam has because there's no like really old titles. You could try. I don't. I haven't really tried much of the old titles, but Steam does work on this guy, and I was able to download games to store it onto our SSD. If you want to use this as a downloading client, it works very well, and you could just transfer it over. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I know it's a little bit short, but I will be getting bigger videos in soon. If you guys have any questions about this or wanted to see other tests on the Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi, let me know in the descriptions below. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel because I'm trying to build that up. And starting from scratch is a little bit hard, so I need a little bit of help. Thanks.